Hello, Cancer. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I'll send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. So I've been channeling um, a couple of songs, but the two that keep, they've been replaying. And whenever I'm getting like a song, I know it's like for the reading coming up. So the song that I was getting for you guys is Maroon 5. Um, I may, I may not make it through the night. I won't go home without you. And then it's another song. I forget who the girl is that sings the song. Um, but it goes, if you want to, I can take, or I can take you, I can take you away from here. So lonely inside, so busy out there. And all you wanted was somebody who cares. So the message that I'm getting is that whoever you're dealing with this person feels really guilty about the way that they acted towards you in the past because i'm getting like this person sort of i'm getting that they possibly abandoned you at a time where you really needed someone to care and they're realizing that like they're getting clarity over the situation and i'm getting that they could have been misinformed by some people here and they they took their side instead of doing the right thing. They knew the right thing to do, but they didn't do it. And they ended up abandoning you in the process. And that was a time where you really needed someone to be there for you. So now this person is like, because the part that I keep hearing is um, I may not make it through the night. I won't go. Um, it's not over tonight. Just give me one more chance to make it right. So this person is wanting you to give them just one more chance to make it right to prove themselves to you here. Because the part that I keep hearing with the other song is and all you wanted was somebody who cares. And because you guys have dealt with a lot of people that like backstabbed you, did things that were just uncalled for here, trying to like tear you apart as an individual, trying to make you not feel worthy. So your outcome is that you're going to be at a crossroads, whether you want to have a conversation with this person or not. I'm getting that you guys, because your overall energy is friends and faded meeting. There's a lot that you don't understand about this connection and neither does this person. And that's why they're wanting to come uh, towards you to figure out things like what is this between the two of you but if you're seeing this person and they're like showing that they're having a good time that they're enjoying life they're pretending they're not really enjoying their life at this moment and that's why they're coming towards you I'm getting that this person promised to be there for you, but they didn't follow through with their, with what they said. It was all talk, no action here from this person. So that's why like coming towards the near future, when this person reaches out to have a conversation with you, you're going to be at, like, a, what's the point? Like you've already showed me what you're about. And that's why they're in this, just give me one more chance to make this right so I can prove myself to you. 
because you really are like you're looking at it like I see you for who you are like you showed me princess of swords this person struggles with expressing themselves like they come across very immature with their communication like even if they're flirting with you trying to express their emotions like they don't know how to they do more spying than action here they watch you more than they talk to you but they're wanting to be more blunt and direct but then the issue here is you're in this uh, queen of uh swords in reverse energy so it's like your communication towards this person i'm getting that you will like conversate with this person open up and have a conversation with this person but it's not going to be nice they're not going to like what they have to or what you have to say it's going to say what they have to hear Yeah, you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to allow your intuition to guide you towards the best action. There's something that you haven't said to this person yet. So it's like when you tell this person to go ahead, you know what you have to say. When you open the door for this person to come towards you to have a conversation with you, there's something that like you're wanting to say, but you're going to let this person do the talking first. And then there's something that you're going to let this person know that they may not like what they have to hear. You're not holding back. But at the same point, you're not being like vindictive. You're not being, you're not coming across where you're acting out to be vengeful towards this person. It's just you no longer want to hold back for your own health here, for your own emotional health. So it's like you don't want to experience the same nonsense again. I got so tired. It's the end of the week. I work through the weekdays. If you're a female, you're you're younger than this person. And if you're a male, then the woman that you're dealing with is younger than you. They find, and you know what, and you don't have to be actually physically younger than this person, but you have a very youthful energy about you. And I'm getting that like you're into like fashion, music, like you're very artsy. And also very seductive. <laughs> seductive. You're going to have a decision to make. Your current energy is you're not looking for like a commitment here. You're just trying to explore your options, but you're about to end up with a twin flame. You dealt with a soulmate in the past, but you're about to end up in a twin flame connection. So someone that you share a deeper connection with here. But your energy at this present moment is you're not taking anything serious. The person that you had a relationship with in the past the soulmate, and like you and this person had a great connection here. And I'm getting like you kept, you kept on leaving like the door open for this person. 
like entertaining other connections, but still not wanting to take anything serious in hopes of this person coming back towards you, but then you're about to end up in a twin flame connection. It's not with that person. So they're letting you know someone that you thought was a twin flame that you felt a deep connection with, that wasn't your twin flame. That wasn't the person you were meant to spend forever with. You're about to meet that person. Let me get from here. your overall energy is releasing your ex but you're about to get to know someone on a deeper level and this is someone that you guys know like um you have like you're within the same circle here so either same circle of friends you guys are co-workers or your family but there's some people here that the both of you know but I'm seeing the two of you taking some time apart together, like going on vacation together, getting away together, definitely getting, cause it's like you take the time to get to know each other. And then you like what you see, you like what you hear. So it's like, well, let's explore this a little more, but you're needing to get away from this group in order to get to know each other on a deeper level because in here, although you guys are having the conversation, you're getting to know each other, there's still some interferences here and not like negative interference. It's just you have people that are like, oh, you know, oh, I think cancer and such and such like each other, you know? So it's like you guys don't really have the space to explore this connection deeper. So as you guys are around each other more and you realize that you like what you are hearing from this person, you like what you see. So you realize that you really like this person and you both wanna explore this more. And I'm getting that you're gonna have people like, yeah, you know, I think such and such, you know, like, you know, egging this on, but in a good way. But then it's time for you guys to take some time apart from these people so you can get to know each other on a deeper level and so you can express yourself more openly and freely here they have released your ex the time has come to let this go there's someone new for you guys although you'll have someone here that wants to come back and make things right i'm getting that that's not the one you're gonna end up with. That was just, they were a soulmate, but not the person you were meant to spend the rest of your life with. Okay. Start living right now. Per perfect will never come. Start living right now. Perfect will never come. Accepting that you're not in control of certain things is a freeing realization. So those go hand in hand. First, you have to accept that you're not meant to be in control of everything. And that will give you the opportunity to start living your life to the fullest here. It's like instead of like trying to be in, in control of every aspect of your life, they're telling you to just embrace the here and now and to learn to go with the flow and to stop stressing over every little thing. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.